Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm going to show you guys a few different ways to wear fishnets. I personally love fishnets. I have a whole collection. I have them in multiple colors. I have them in multiple types, multiple shapes, multiple styles, etc, etc. They're the loves of my life. And I figured I'd share how I wear them since a lot of people, usually when I bring up the idea of fishnets or when fishnets are involved, it's usually sexy time. But they're way more versatile than that. So for anyone who wants to spice things up with some fishnets or figure out how to make it work for them because they want to experiment a little bit, go no further, here we are. You can easily recreate some of these looks or create and tweak your own with just about anything in your closet. So first we're starting with fishnets under jeans. I have some neon yellow fishnets here to match my neon yellow top. See, it's just the small things that can add just a little bit of spice to an outfit. So this is good for people who don't want to show too much skin, but they still want to play around with it. So it gives you an edgier vibe and it's still visible, but you're not naked. So granted, this is not the best outfit, but don't focus on that. Focus on these. So another way to wear fishnets, especially if you're uncomfortable showing too much leg, is wear them over tights. Uh, if you wear them over tights, you can wear all the colored ones because a lot of people will actually think that the tights that you're wearing them over are leggings. So they'll just assume that you're wearing leggings when in reality you're just layered up. This is what it looks like close up. You can see they just look like really textured leggings. I like the mermaid fish scale ones going around, but it's definitely not that. And also if you have runs or holes in it, it doesn't matter because it actually just looks like it was designed that way unless it's like ripped up all crazy in which case mm, I don't know how you're going to justify that but if it's not too ridiculous you can definitely still pull off bruised and battered fishnets personally I think this look looks best under shorts or like a dress so that way you can't see the waistband but your choice I mean it's your life next is basic with a skirt or dress in this case a mini skirt this is obviously what most people think of when they think of things they can wear fishnets with. You know, it's a little scandalous. But it also looks really nice. It's just a little too sexy for some people. But a tried and true classic you can't go wrong with. And here we go again with another basic but also classic way to wear fishnets under shorts. Considered less trashy than wearing fishnets under a skirt, I guess because you don't feel the breeze. So basically same thing. Just add a little bit of edge to whatever shorts you're wearing. Because in this case, they are highly unnecessary, but we still got them there. And last but not least, under a sweater or an oversized t-shirt. I know it's similar to a dress, but technically it's not. So it's actually a bit more scandalous than wearing it under a dress or a mini skirt because it's just a shirt. But we're rebels out here, we do what we want. So if you're brave and there's no fear in your heart, you can wear it just like this. Personally, I recommend putting shorts under it just in case some perverts are nearby. I don't know, they're always lurking. And you would wear them just like you would wear leggings, except they're not, they spicy. And those are just a few ways that I personally like to wear my fishnets. So hopefully this was able to help you guys out. And with that, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys.